All right, so let's quickly get into this one, which is multiplication review and fraction comparisons. And uh, this is Bridges Math, fourth grade, unit seven. And here, multiplication review should be pretty simple. And then down here, we're comparing fractions with these diagrams. So just fill them in and compare them. And here I can see that by a little bit, three-fourths is greater than two-thirds. And then over here, we are supposed to make an equivalent fraction to three-fourths and two-thirds, but it says think carefully about which bar you'll use for each fraction. So let's just count and see how many we have in each of these. Okay, so this top one I just counted has 12 pieces, and this one here has eight pieces. So three-fourths can actually fit in twelfths or eighths also, but two-thirds, think about multiples of three, can only go into twelfths. So I'm going to put two-thirds into the twelfths and three-fourths into the eighths. So if I do two-thirds up here, I need three equal pieces. So what's 12 divided by three? I'd have four in each section. So there's my three sections, and I'm gonna color in two thirds, and then I can see how many twelfths there are. And then down here, I have the eighths, and I'm doing three fourths down here. So if I cut eight into four pieces, it's gonna look like this, and I'm filling in three of those four pieces. One, two, three. So I should be able to see how many um, eighths equals three-fourths with that one. Okay, then down here, same idea. Um, Four-fifths and six-eighths. And then here we have four pieces, and then this one looks like ten pieces. So four-fifths I can work into tenths and... Um, six eighths I should be able to work into fourths up here so for six eighths I'm gonna cut all those in half and fill in six eighths and figure out how many fourths that would be and then for four fifths uh, I'm doing almost the opposite I'm gonna make my fifths like so and fill in four of them and figure out how many tenths that's equal to and then now for this last part, um, we are going to compare these with common denominators. So um, what we need to do is figure out the common denominator first between eighths and fifths. So if I were to list multiples of eight, I would have uh, eight, 16, 24, numbers like this and so on. And then multiples of five are pretty simple. I don't need to even list them out to figure out what it's gonna be, five, 10, 15, 20, and so on. So the common denominator is gonna end up being 40, right? So to put six eighths into 40, what would I multiply it times? Eight times what is 40? It's eight times five. So six times five is 30, and that's gonna give me uh, an equivalent fraction to six eighths. Then here, four fifths, what is the common denominator? Again, it's gonna be 40 ths So think four fifths times what would give you 40 ths um, Five times what is equal to 40? That number will go the same on both, and then you'll be able to compare them. So you can compare them um, looking at both these two numbers, or you can just look at your diagram up a little bit higher to see what's greater. So the last bit's the more challenging part, 4a and b and c, uh, but that is your homework for tonight. So thank you and goodbye.